A pleasant day to all. Hello my Mac friends. It's Emmy again. I am. Your Mac and Soft Daddy DIY. It's been a while my friends. Do you miss me? Do you miss your daddy? Well I am now here. For you baby. And for today's video. It'll show you how to update. Your OCLP OpenCore Legacy Patcher. The latest release of OpenCore version 0.4.5. Let's not waste time let's get through now without further ado let's start now. Now click open core GUI app zip package. It's about of 280 megabytes in size double click to start its downloading. I also click the open core patcher TUI app zip in this case I can have a copy of TUI terminal. We can check and see in our downloads folder in finder. Zero point four point five open core legacy patch a brand new release month of the eighteenth of May two thousand and twenty two and it was four days ago. With this release of zero point four point five, we're primarily focused on resolving issues involving today's release of Mac OS twelve point four to the public as well as more general fixes. These include non metal fixes, double menabar clock, non functional dismiss buttons. VNC support on TerraScale 2 GPUs, and other cosmetic fixes. 12.4 installers not listing by default when downloading. More robust root volume patcher. Resolved Bluetooth support for BT 2.1 controllers and 12.4. And many more changes we hope everyone will appreciate. See full change log. For all changes, we hope this will be our last release before Mac OS 13's announcement. And a quick thank you again Chrono Kernel. Good job on this release. We appreciate your time and effort. A masterpiece. Kudos. To all. To everyone who's donated to my GoFundMe. It's amazing how quickly we reached our goal. I can't express how grateful I am to everyone for giving me this opportunity. Thank you my daddy. Can't wait to see everyone at WWDC 2022. As you can see here is one of the issue that you'll encounter on the 12.4 OS update. It's a double menu bar clock. With you updating to 0.4.5 this issue is now fix. I say you should also update your Mac and it's a must. Especially if you're using an unsupported machine. Just like Emmy I am using a MacBook Pro 7.1 Mac. That's why I always keep updated to OCLP. It's a good thing and an essentials. For non-metals machine also to all Max users. Now after the downloading you should see IT in. Downloads folder. Click to finder. Then you will drag IT down to applications folder. Just like we doing on the previous updates. All the way from 0.4.1. Until here in latest 4.5. It's also the same process. I will not go full on this tutorial because it's always been the same procedure. You should know by now, my baby. Once you drag to applications folder, there's a prompt that says, Hey an older item named, OpenCore Patcher already exists in this location. Do you want to replace, with the newer one you're moving? Yes then click replace, and IT will automatically will verifies the process, and let's wait. There it goes, it was already in its location, we have the new patcher. Now software was detected, a prompt will says do you want to open, yes we click, open. Now let's configure its settings. The same settings just like we did. In 0.4.4, you can follow me in this steps. Watch as I configure, if there's a new settings that they put, here in this brand new patcher. But I must say it's just the same, as it was in previous. In configure non-metal settings, see, check all the three boxes. Dark menu bar, enable data blur and enable beta rim.
As we know there is an auto root patching here. There's no switch using this GUI app. It's automatically doing its job. That is the beauty of this. Patcher. Really a less stress for all Mac users. As we know there is an auto root patching here. There's no switch using this GUI app. It's automatically doing its job. That is the beauty of this. Patcher. Really a less stress for all Mac users. Then we click root patching definitely, surely. Relaunch as root click yes. Then it will ask for our administry password. There will be a prompt again that will says that you'll need to restart the machine. For the patches will take its effect. Right after the patching procedure finishes. Don't worry, this may take some time. Relaunch as root click yes. Then it will ask for our administry password. There will be a prompt again that will says that you'll need to restart the machine. For the patches will take its effect. Right after the patching procedure finishes. Don't worry, this may take some time. And if you happen to like this video, heat that thumbs up, make it color blue, slap the bell icon to keep you updated for my latest uploads. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, this is your Mac and Soft Daddy DIY. Saying peace, God bless, and a D D I O S. Adios.